Hi everyone, Bandana here. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to this week's One or Dev Blog. By my numbering, this is Dev Blog 100. I think you gen's numbering might be a little bit different to mine, but it's somewhere similar. Quick disclaimer at the start here, I've been given access to the dev blog a little bit early because I'm actually away on holiday when this goes live, therefore there may have been some minor changes, but it's just the day before so it should be pretty solid by now. So in this dev blog they say, we'll be discussing a nation jostled in the spotlight rather repeatedly in recent times, the British. Hold on to your teacups lads. So I think they're taking the proverbial a bit here, but uh, let's crack on with it. An end to the misery is the first subheading. The British. They sure had it tough. Oh, the suffering. Dear Warnor community, it was great and unrelenting for all of us. So to rest the community's rather vocal minorities, excited hearts and pouty mouths, We've decided to collect some new units in one dev blog. The next subheading is Warrior Applique. Assuming you're saying it in French, if you say it in English, I guess it's applique, and the reality is it just means applied. But since Eugen being French had taken the proverbial a little bit, I think we should just continue calling it Applique. Make way for the Warrior Applique, a most fitting title. Coming to the British 1st Armoured Division, this Milan-equipped Warrior IFV has an additional bolt-on armour set, granting it plus one front and side armour. This type of Applique protection was first added to Warriors deployed for Operation Desert Storm. The ATGM on the IFV has also been upgraded from the Milan 1 to the more advanced Milan 2. This transport option will only be available to the arm rifle squads. So the next subheading is the Saracen and Saladin. So they say the next two units are coming to the British 2nd Infantry Division. This formation was responsible for the rear area defence of the British 1st Corps in North Ag. As such, it could count on plenty of old equipment stored throughout West Germany, which would equip its territorial reinforcements rushed from the UK. These pre-positioned war stocks included lots of Saracen APCs, as well as a few Saladin armoured cars. Both have been modelled and will be added to the 2nd Infantry Division. We get a little bit more detail on both of these. So the venerable Saracen is a 6x6 wheeled APC, lightly armoured, and armed only with a 7.62mm machine gun. Introduced in 1952, the vehicle was only removed from active service in the 1980s, to be replaced by the Saxon. In 1989, the British Army still employed hundreds of them, mainly in Northern Ireland, where it was a familiar sight during the Troubles. Other Saracen were in storage in the United Kingdom or West Germany as mentioned above. In game it will be a transport option specific to the Terriers units. And the Saladin was a heavy armoured car, sharing the same 6x6 wheeled chassis as the Saracen but supporting a turret armed with a low velocity 76mm gun, the predecessor to the weapon mounted on the Scorpion recon vehicles. The Saladin mostly saw service in Northern Ireland and Cyprus as part of the United Nations. In Warno, these vehicles would be made available as older and thus cheaper recon vehicles featuring the reservist trait. Last but not least they say is the Buccaneer. We already mentioned in the previous dev blog this iconic British unit would make a cameo appearance in Warno's Left Hook Army General campaign. The Blackburn Buccaneer was the RAF's prime ground attack aircraft until the introduction of the Tornado. Mostly replaced in this role, the books were kept in the UK for maritime and nuclear strikes. Still, they were very capable of performing a range of ground attack sorties even more so than the newer Tornado thanks to their versatile loadout, heavy bombing, air-to-ground missiles, seed and even hauling laser-guided bombs. In Warno, the Buccaneer will only be playable in the Army General Campaign for now. The unit will be featured in all its glory in a future North Ag expansion. And that's everything for this week, thank you very much for joining me everyone. Nice to see some more British units getting added obviously. As I said at the start of the video, I am on holiday, so when it comes to next week's dev blog, I will try and get a video up still, but it will be a, probably a different quality and a different sound quality because I won't have my main computer with me. 
But have a great weekend, everyone, and I'll see you all soon.